cloudy morning to one and all. Are you fit? We're off shopping this morning. <coughs> oh dear. Yeah, it's not so good today. A bit dewy, a bit cloudy. Still got me washing out, drying, because it never dried. Hopefully we're going to get the outside of the van done when we get back. Doubt it. You doubt it? This needs a good clean. Yeah, this does need a good clean, darling. It definitely will work better. How are you this morning? Tired. Very tired. Oh yeah. We're kind of wearing the same today. <coughs> Green t-shirt and jeans. <laughs> Look like he's in hers. Oh, my feet are getting wet. It's a good day anyway, darling. Are we off to Skegness or Mablethorpe? Well, I was hoping for Skegness really because I needed to get makeup. They don't do that sort of stuff at Mablethorpe. I need to get a foundation and stuff. Yeah, it's just as far, isn't it? Skegness though, isn't it? Oh, damn. Yay! That went pretty well, really, didn't it? Busy. Oh, gosh, yeah. About that time in the morning as well. It's Friday morning. We were like 10 o'clock. Yeah. Very busy, very yeah. busy. Yeah. So we've got some good stuff today. We have. Um, so we were just discussing what we'd like for dinner. I've got a habit of wanting to wave to the um, motorhomes today and I actually did it on the way here, didn't I? And the guy looked at me like I was weird. I forgot I was in the car. <laughs> yeah, so we've got a choice of Indian, Italian, English, American. There was more, weren't there? Tell you what I really fancy. What do you really fancy? Chinese. Oh, I thought you were going to say me. <laughs> because you only say that because you know that's the only one I haven't got. Yeah, so anyway, we've got you. some. Because um, whatever it is might need preparing, you see. I'm thinking maybe American. American. Because there's a new range out and it's like they're doing yes. like sloppy Joe's. Sloppy Joe's, sort of like a. a it's like a fajita kit, really. It's like a kit, basically, isn't it? And um, Sloppy Joe's, and what was the other one? I don't know, it's like a chicken oh, burger thing we've got. Chicago chicken or something. I we, think we'll um, go for that, an American meal. Yeah, I could do that. We actually bought a load of chicken today because I'm so obsessed with these wraps now at the minute. I love it. Yeah. Is that it then? I ain't got all else to say. <laughs> We were looking at this caravan on the way down, 22,000. It's not bad for that, is it? Yeah, it's old. Yeah, I mean, it might be old, but if you had a big garden. I remember days you could get a caravan for 500 pound. A static caravan? Oh, oh, proper trailer caravan, you mean? I don't know, just yeah. a caravan. Yeah, a lot of sites only allow you to have them up to 10 years old. So although though, although these prices look amazing, you're sort of getting yourself into one there, aren't you? It's, dead, it's going to be dead money before you know it, isn't it? It certainly is. Yeah, still would love to get one one day though. Definitely. So what are you up to? Well, I'm trying to prepare. So basically I've got a massive pack of chicken must have been about 10 breasts at least. Mm -hmm. so big breasts as well. Big breasts. A couple's gone away for a curry that I'm going to be doing. This is going to be for tonight's tea, which is Carolina chicken. Check this out. American favourites, Carolina chicken with slaw seasoning. Yeah, so I can imagine all the Americans go, that's not proper Carolina chicken. <laughs> I don't know. French's, isn't that actually an American company? I don't know. I don't know. You actually even get the mustard in that as well, darling. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. But, um. Got Sloppy Joe's as well for another night. Yeah, got Sloppy Joe's for another night. So that's. So where are you meant to put the mustard then on this? I've never known what a sloppy joe is, to be honest, but it's obviously just minced beef with some kind of lovely sauce in it. Looking forward to it. Mm-hmm. Just trying to figure out where the mustard goes. Do you think it goes on the chicken and then the seasoning? I don't know. Read the instructions. I don't know. 
Put that back down there. No, no, that's for, to make your own, own homemade um, coleslaw, which we didn't do. We're not, I'm not doing going that. To that no. <laughs> We're not American. No chance. Right, anyway, yeah, so just sprinkle some of this onto that. Put that in the fridge, bang in the oven later on. Run out of gas and then panic. Yeah, yeah, probably will be the case, won't it? Oh, smell that. What do you think? It's not very strong, actually. Kind of reminds me of... Oh, me? Yeah. Oh, oh, that smells like pickled onion crisps. It does, kind of strange, isn't like a, it? It's probably like a spicy pickled onion crisps. Oh, no, I'm not concentrating. I think this is meant to have oil and everything on it. Oh, I'll read the instructions. <laughs> I don't know where this video is yeah, going today. We're just oil. randomly getting nowhere. Uh, just to let you all know, by the way, the two electric bikes are sold. Someone's made a deposit on them too last night. The same person collecting them um, in a few days next week. Uh, but thank you for everyone who was showing interest. Oh. Now what? I don't know what to do with myself. Definitely not washing van, it's got hot. It was supposed to just be cloudy all day, but the sun is coming out. Here's a shocker for you. I'm not drinking John Smith's because I ran out and uh, I've got non cold because I've just got them from the supermarket, so they're in the freezer cooling down rapidly. I'm trying out this uh, ginger beer we were given, it's very nice, it's sweet. Bundaberg Ginger Beer, Australian family owned business. It's, it's very sweet, it's very nice, it's giving me a bit of heartburn, I'll be honest, but it is very nice. I think it would have been better with ice in it, in a glass, really ice cold. But yeah, makes a change. Right, so this is my tea. Um, so this is Carolina chicken with slaw seasoning, right? So this is this, yeah? Yep. Looks fantastic. Does it look the same as the picture? No, because it's not homemade coleslaw. <laughs> Let's have a look. Let's have a look. But I put the seasoning into the coleslaw. It still looks nice. It feels nice. It smells yeah. nice. Let's try it. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm in America. We well, ain't tried your fries yet. I feel like I'm in the US of A. That's really nice. Look at your mouth. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I've just wiped loads off. <laughs> right, so the That's lovely, lovely. French fry seasoning did actually come out of then this sloppy joe mix, but there's loads to do that on another day. It's a strange flavour, do you think? Ruined. Ruined? Why? Overcooked. What, the chips? Yeah. Oh. Um. I have been waiting two hours for you to come in for dinner. I'll get through them. They're a bit like pork scratchings. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, but it looks nice. What's the flavour like though? You ain't said what the flavour's like. If I went to McDonald's and got this, I'd give it five out of ten. Right. No, three out of ten. Right. You're cooking tomorrow. No, it's not. You're cooking tomorrow! It is absolutely boiling. Isn't it? Good morning, my dear. It's early and it's absolutely boiling. I cannot it believe it. It must be at least 65 degrees Celsius. Put it this way, it's, we feel like it's too hot to do the van today. Definitely. Yeah. I knew it was going to be. But I did wake up this morning thinking, yeah, I'm up for this, I'm up for this. But by nine o'clock it was too much. Yeah, yeah, half eight, nine, it was already sweltering. So I don't know now where we're going to go with today because the plans were to wash the van or wait for a cooler day. It don't matter, does it? Mm. No. But anyway, you've seen the lovely Mark this morning. Did Diane come over as well? 
No, I saw the lovely Diane. Oh, she came over, did she? I weren't sure because oh, I was. Mark in... with her, but she's lovely, Ian. Oh. Mark. <laughs> They're both lovely. Brought us gifts, Mazzy. Yeah, I was inside the van. Sorry, I didn't get to see you yet. So, let's start with yours. What have you got? Yes. This is amazing. Now, I don't technically really know what you've got. You do. No, I haven't been in your bag. I haven't been in the bag. Oh, so they got. Now, they've got. Always buying us lovely gifts, but check that out. Yankee candle or miniatures. All oh, different flavours. So what what can happen is yeah, eight I can find, candles. I can find my favourite and then buy bigger ones. Not four candles. Light, eight candles. And light them every day. So I've got peppermint pine. Glistening Christmas Noel. We've got Christmas ones. Holiday magic. Snowflakes. Right, I'm bored. So, I've got loads. so she's got two four candles. <laughs> Haribo. Now we came over with a big Haribo bag, a really nice posh bag, you know, like the shopping bags. Yeah. From Haribo. Now I didn't know Haribo had any shops. Oh, I didn't. Um, but then it says it's yeah, it's not far from where we live. Blah. And then I thought to myself, hang on, is that where the Haribo factory was, which burnt down back in the, God knows when. I seem to remember that, about the year 2000, I guess, and the old place stunk of sweets for weeks, apparently. Right. Uh, apparently they rebuilt it, and yes, there's a Haribo shop there. So, I'm loving the bag. The bag. Yeah. Look at the bag. Dan's got a habit of keeping bags, so I know he's going to keep this one. Proper Haribo. 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 I say Haribo. I'm saying Haribo because I can. Two Haribo. Little teddies. They are cute. We have. Actually, they're of... different, aren't they? I think one is a girl and one's a boy. No, they're both same. No, look, my one's waving because that's me. Good morning. They're both same. <laughs> they're not. Arriba Star Mix. Oh. What else have we got? Oh my gosh, you've been spoiled. Arriba Box of Happy. Box. Oh. What? Oh, no, 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 not yet, not yet. Oh, go on, have a look. Oh, it's all sealed with sellotape. I can't. Box of Happy. What a lovely name for yes. some Haribos. We have got now them. I'm in love with them already. Oh, those. Joysticks. Um, what are they called? Na Nammies or something? Uh, my own. My own. Ma 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 Mom. Mom. Oh, yeah, I'm not a big a fan of those. I didn't know they were Haribo. Lovely. In fact, there's three. So your teeth are going to rot out your head. Yeah, there's, oh, there's oh, three. Oh, yes. Oh, I love these. Love them. <laughs> oh, I love them. Share. Yeah, you Just, buy those, don't you? Yeah, Aribo, the happy. Not share. The happy. <laughs> 11 minute bags. Well, there's more. And a cup. <gasps> oh, wow. It's the egg as well. It's the egg and it says Aribo in the inside. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's going to be your new morning mug. Yes. Oh, so what a lovely your... gift. So thank you very, very, very much. Oh, that's so kind and thoughtful. That's really kind, isn't it? Certainly is. Well, thank you very much. Love them to bits. They're always bringing yeah. us gifts, they? they? are, yeah. We never sort of get out anywhere to do the same pack, do we? Not that we would. <laughs> of course we would. Thank you very much. Yeah, now what? I don't know. It's too hot. It's too hot. I've even undone my top button. Mm. My hairs and hairy chests just bulging out of my shirt today. And good morning! It's that day, it's fan washing day. <laughs> Dan's just finishing off his cup of coffee while I get a bucket of water together. I think I'm going to have to put hot water into that as well. I've only just put the hot water on. So today we're doing the basic with the wash gonna put it into a bucket and I don't know how much to put <laughs> that'll do and we'll be using brushes and all sorts I'm starting this vlog this morning without Dan because I want to crack on it's early and I want to get this job done today but it's definitely a lot cooler, so today's the day to do it. Right, let's get this bucket of water out, spray the fan down, and get washing. Morning. <laughs> it's still very early, I still haven't finished my coffee. Um, but we have to get this started because it's gonna be warm. It's already getting hot it's again. It's already getting warm, but it's not as hot as yesterday. 
So I want to start with the back. Yeah. I'll just take you around <coughs> to show you how bad it is. I don't know if you're going to be able to see, really. To be fair, it's not the worst it's been. To say it hasn't had a washing <coughs> in a year, it's not bad. No. Wheels need a good polish up in that end of the cab. But my plan is, give it a little wet. Yeah. And then we've got a solution in the bucket. I'm going to go around with the big brush, do it from the top. Then Maz is going to follow me with the smaller brush and a sponge, just get a bit more detail. Rinse it off, do that all the way around, and then I'm off to bed. Sounds Come good. On. That's nice and bubbly and soapy up there. And lucky. Good start already, babe. <laughs> I'm getting wet through. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I've put my yesterday's clothes on today, so I've got old, dirty clothes. Now, I've suggested to Dan, actually, to put the hose onto this brush, but why aren't you? You should do. need the solution, which is... Yeah, but you can keep dabbing it, can't you? No, I don't want to be using all that water. I don't need to. Yeah. I just uh, want to get this on and let it soak in for a bit. I don't know if you'd want it to soak in. So far, so good. Good going, babe. I'm going to now start on this side as much as I can with this. I've always washed the van with this. It's crap, but it's always done the job. This is proving to be very good. What, that brush, is yeah. it? Yeah. Finished. Well, not quite finished, but I've gone all the way around with a bucket and soap giving it a good scrub with the big brush just been rinsed off now <laughs> 10 past 9 it literally took about 15 minutes why we don't keep up to this I do not know That with two of us that was so quick and easy so that will be the main wash getting it nice and clean um, and it is getting hotter and hotter now so I don't know what more we're going to do today but we can start detailing it next with all the other fantastic products we've been sent by Silky Leisure. We've also got the car to wash as well. Might quickly do that before it gets too warm. Luckily it's a very small car, it won't take long at all. So I'm going to make a start on the car, shouldn't take me long. Mazzy's going to try to use this. Now I'm a bit, a bit wary of this. This is to get rid of the yellow staining from your GRP and white plastic service, services. surfaces. Use a brush, don't get it on non-ferrous metal. So I'm suggesting, Mazzy, just don't get it on the van full stop, just get it on the plastic. I'm going to try, but the annoying thing is then afterwards, it's only going to be on 20-30 minutes, but then you've got to rinse it all off with clean water. Thoroughly. Um, but I've just literally done most of the windows now <laughs> on the outside. Yeah, but this isn't for windows. No, I know, but if you get water now on my windows, then I've got to redo all the windows. No, you don't have to spray, spray it off with water. Just, don't you? No, just get a cloth and some water and wipe it off. Right, so there is another problem. I haven't got the ladder, so there's only going to be so high I can get, let's say, to there. Yeah, well, let's start with that from there yeah. all the way down. Leave it for 20, 30 minutes and see what happens. I'm just going to use a makeup brush, a brand new one. Do you have to shake it? Well, it's called a gel, but it isn't. It's a liquid. It is definitely liquid. Now, if we Oxalic was Oxalic to... gel mix, it's called. Yeah, which I'm afraid if we was to now go across there with that top bit of the rubber, it might drip down on the metal, and it's telling you not to make sure it doesn't go on the metal, which is scary. Yeah, is that metal? It is, isn't it? I wonder if this is like peroxide. Do you remember when I yeah, peroxide quite on possibly. The plastics? So yeah, I'd say just do that bit, Mazzy, up to there and leave it and we'll just do it as a test, do you yeah? Do to see it before and after then? <laughs> before. Ugh. Well, this is a bad bit down the bottom it's here. It's perishing now anyway, so... It is perishing, but we're going to sort it. Alright, let's just give it a go, yeah. I mean, I can't see anything, really. But I know it's on there, yeah? Yeah. Maybe get a cloth and just wipe these edges off as you're going along. I don't know if it would do any harm. Because this is just a sticker, isn't it? Surely. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Oh gosh, I've got an important job now. <laughs> so 
So this is what I'm using for the car. We're back to this, Enviro Wash, Wash and Wax. Now this is for surfaces which are not too bad. Uh, they've been looked after basically, and this car has been looked after. Um, so, I noticed neighbour were talking to us then and then ran off as soon as I put camera on because I was just about to confront him about not coming to his van washing party. He were invited, didn't come. Um, now to do the van, so I've got clean water, I've put some of that in, all ready to go. And I got a new sponge yesterday, and Mazza says we don't need another sponge, we've got sponges. And I'll tell you exactly why I've got a new sponge. Because once upon a time, I don't know if I told you this story, once upon a time when I was working with the racehorses, the vet came. A young lass, she had one of these tiny little microscopic cars, right? And while she was in looking at the horses, I thought, you know what, I'll be kind, because I was washing our horses down or whatever, I'll wash a car for her. Because it was so small, it only took me a couple of minutes. So I got a sponge, washed it all down, lovely. And then I realised in the sponge was a tiny, tiny little bit of gravel or something, and I'd literally <sighs> scraped the entire paintwork of a car. Nothing was ever said, I don't know if she ever noticed it with me. But ever since then, I've felt really, really guilty, and I'm always worried about using sponges. Make sure your sponge is clean. So, because it's in our car, uh, I thought I'd better not risk it. I'll, I'll spend a pound and get a new sponge. So, away we go. So that roof has taken me about 40 seconds. I wish I could say the same about our van roof. Okay, it's drying too quick, so I'm getting loads of streaks, it's already dry and I haven't rinsed it off yet. So I have to get some buckets, the hose won't reach, rinse it off and then it's going to be a bit of a chamois job I think. Right, well done, doing the little car, I've gone over as much as I can, all the little plasticky trims, I've even done this vent and the toilet hatch and all these as well. I couldn't reach that one, so I'm gonna have to wait for Dan. I've done those, and I've gone round the all outside anyway. Am I noticing anything? Not really, but I have only just finished. I'll tell you what, though, what I was going to try it on was this. This has gone really kind of yellow. Don't get me wrong, it's a bit grabby anyway but I'm wondering if it'll work on that should I give it a go could actually give that a go couldn't I let's take the lid off but I do have to be extra careful with this one now because I don't want to be getting it into the lock system I'll tell you what I did get it though I've got it into a little cut and it still stings I bite my nails <laughs> Yeah, I do wonder if that will improve the looks of that. Right, I'm not gonna go too near that lock bit though. It's not worth it. Right, let's see how that comes up. We've got the whole sun shining on this side and you actually need the sun and a certain temperature for this to work. Whereas the other side of the van now, hasn't actually got it so it might take longer or it might just not work did this as well I'll just retouch that it does say on the instructions actually to retouch um, on any sort of harder areas so to say 
How are you getting on, sweetie? You're doing a good job. I remember when they were going to wash this car and you says, no, 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 I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. You're not doing it, I'm doing it. Because I weren't going to do it today, doing the van. Anyway, I'm in a rush because it's drying and it's all... Oh, hurry up then. <laughs> Where's my bucket? How can you lose a bucket? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. right, I'm just pointing out, bless Danny, he ain't even sat down yet. <laughs> I was sat down, but you've just made me get back up again to do this. Yeah, be careful. All right, the plastic light. We're not going to do the strip going across because I'm not seeing a massive Anything difference. Else? Yeah, yeah, back here, darling. These two up here, these three sort of things. And I think that might be it. Just to give I them can't a. Reach them, is it? Give him a go. That's it. You, you never know. That's it. Are we noticing any difference yet? I don't know if I'm totally honest. I can't be 100% sure. What do you think, darling? I think I need a rest. Yeah. Not sure about that, so I might just give well the brushes out now. I might just give that another brush. This is the first one I did. Just give you a second look. <laughs> yep, yeah, not sure. All done. Just need to give it a bit of a chamois when it's dried off because it will leave a few marks. But... Right, I'm on holiday now. I helped. I helped. I did loads. I've had enough. <laughs> it's a hot one, isn't it? I'm on holiday now, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> so today we have, well, the products no. we've used so far is the Silky Leisure Deep Clean yeah, Concentrate. We, we started with that on the roof to get the horrible grime off. That is the wash and That's wax. That's the wash and wax, so we finished with that. And today then, we've washed the van with this. Mm. And we've done all our plastics with this, which we'll go into in a minute. So this is what's left. Yeah. So we've got this, which is, I think, for PVC, like... Um, windows and stuff I've done my windows it's really hard to reach those so I'm not going to be using that not this time anyway. not this time uh, toilet stuff which we've oh, flies which we've actually tried but that's going to be in the box well I think it's, it's a matter really of just say anything about that. we're just doing bit by bit we'll, yeah. we, we will try them yeah um, but when we can be bothered we've we got more important that, things we to do that. Um, this is what's going to be next yeah, that's our next product. So this is your instant detail at dry and shine. The van and the car need a quick spray and going over with that. And yep. it should then bring it up beautifully. Yeah, but before that, we do want to try that tar stuff. We think we've got some tar stuff in the boot. Just It gets rid of like little black spots of tar on the van. And then we'll polish up with that. We have, but I thought one of these did that as well. Oh, I don't know. I'm sure one of the... Uh... I don't know. You're talking about the black streaks, which was meant to be, I think, was meant to be that you like streaks. Right, well, we only yeah. used that on the roof, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we only used that on the roof. So, so that would probably do it, but we'll see anyway. We've washed it now. <laughs> so that's what we're using next. So that should bring the van up beautifully. Bring the van up, finish it off nice, yeah. And then that is going to leave these three products. Now, what I've said to Mazzy, let's just show them what you've done with yes. this plastic stuff. Right, and I'm going to be totally honest. Right, so in the end, right, I did this. Can you notice the difference? I feel I can on that. Yeah. In the end, I actually painted the whole shabam. Yeah. <laughs> I am noticing the whole thing looks cleaner, but... Yeah, but is it because it was just grotty? I don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Um, yeah, so that's all been... Everything's been rinsed off now. 
can't really. I, I mean, I can notice it slightly on this. Okay. I wouldn't say massively. And again, then, can I notice it on this? I feel I can. I feel like I can notice it on more on the hard plastics. But when it came to these, no, it didn't touch them. Yeah, but that's but to the, me, that is the colour of them, I believe. No, 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 they used to be white. You okay. can actually buy that. So what we're going to do is use that spray, uh, detail it, not today, we've had enough. Yeah, we're going to do the car, finish the car off lovely. I've done all the windows inside and out on the car as well. So a bit of a polish on the outside. Right, it's actually sparkling as it is. It's Hoover. looking really good. Well, polish on the outside, hoover and a bit of polish inside. That'll bring that up nice. So then, once all that's done, what I've said yeah. to Maz is, with the other items we just need to when we can be bothered just do one thing at a time like the garage doors yeah do you want one to day, explain what they are yeah, there just yeah. one day do uh, one segment at a time yeah just when you when we've got a bit of time so this is a restore polishing compound restore shine to older or grp not sure what that means but hey that's your restore and then you've got fine shine polishing compound, which you use after that. Yeah, it comes as like a pair, doesn't it? Mm. You have to use that and then use that. Which, to me, that's a lot of hard work when you're talking fan size. And this <laughs> brings everything to a high gloss. Well, that now, we were just reading, that's more seasonal to protect things. And which, now thinking of it, we should have done the roof with that thinking about it how could we have rubbed that onto the roof anyway well you could, uh, yeah i think this is like a coating isn't it yeah, it's to like protect coating, everything yeah so anyway so it's a matter of washing detail uh, detailing yeah proper detailing proper detailing proper rub it in and then you've got an immaculate van <laughs> that's easy said than done when you've got a vehicle cool that side <laughs> but as far as the full range is concerned i'm yeah. very impressed yeah so we will put a link in the description silky leisure and what i like about these more than almost every other company we've ever reviewed it's a yorkshire company mazzy yes it's a british yeah. company so support your british companies yeah. they specialize in cleaning products for caravans and motorhomes Give them a try. Now we've got on one of everything. We've been sent one of everything they, they that they do. So the only one product that I felt they lacked, and it was it was window cleaner basically. You know, you do the whole fan or the whole car, whatever. But then there weren't like no a window lean. A wind. Yeah, I know, but not everyone has window lean in the house. Yeah, but that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But didn't you say that cream was for that? For yeah, the windows. For the PVC, I'm talking like for your glass, glass, you know, for your like wing mirrors. I mean, yeah, they good can point. Get a, they can get a bit of sort of. Um, so we need a silky leisure window lean, window basically. Kind of, yeah, a bit like um, what's that? Auto glass is really good. So I can imagine they would come up with a really good one. They might do one now. Yeah. Don't know. It's yep. that long since the centres these. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you to Silky yes, Leisure. We will be trying you. them in a future video. Uh, link in the description. Check them out. You. Yes. Are filthy. I know, it just proves I've been working though, doesn't it? I think we need some of this deep restore on that leg. <laughs> it was the brake dust, I was cleaning the wheels. <laughs> we would like to thank people for sending us super thanks. Absolutely. We have got Peter Webster. Thank you, Peter. <laughs> Donna and Glenn from the Touring and Chilling Channel. Thank you, Donna <laughs> and Glenn from the Touring Chilling Channel channel nearly nearly thank you happy van and drone adventures ha thank you happy van and drone adventures these are getting complicated names aren't they <laughs> you know them do i you do know them yeah i'll, oh, tell, I'll tell you when we've finished this. Oh, okay i'm sorry <laughs> you've not met them but you I do haven't. know they are oh, okay jacob clayton thank you jacob <laughs> and terry kilroy oh Thank you, Terry. A huge, massive thank you to you all. Yes, you're all amazing, and you know we appreciate the support, don't we? One hundred percent. And we thank do. Thank you. <laughs> right. Um, it is. I've just looked at the clock, Mazzy. Believe it or yeah. not, it is just after eleven a.m. And we've finished the video. What? We've washed a car. We've washed a van. Uh, but we did start at half eight. 
eight, nine, ten, eleven. So there's only two and a half hours. Oh God, I don't know if we've done later. well. It feels we've done well. <laughs> so we're going to end this video here. We and might continue videoing one, for yes. tomorrow because yeah. that's what we do. It's non-stop. Yeah. I do need a bit of a to half an hour break though. I need a sleep and a beer <laughs> and some football and a bit of rugby. Right, well, thank you so much for joining us again on another adventure of ours. Appreciate that, don't we? We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. I love y'all. Later, dudes. Bye.